Hi, I'm Dr. Scott, and I know you've probably seen one of my uh, YouTube videos or seen one of my TV interviews, um, or you've actually uh, had a friend tell you about me. Uh, but either way that you've heard about me, uh, what I want to do is just drop you this little video to kind of give you a little bit of a, uh, a preview of what we do in our office. And um, we always have workshops going on most of the time. If you want to come, come to one of our workshops, yeah, you definitely can. Uh, but here's what I want to have you ask this question to yourself. And I ask this to all my patients throughout the country. If you've been diagnosed with a thyroid problem and you're taking the medication, did your doctor tell you why your thyroid is malfunctioning? 99.9% .9 of the time, a patient can't tell me why. They, they'll say, I don't know. The doctor never told me. If they don't know what's why or they don't know what's wrong with your thyroid, how are they ever going to help you? Okay? That's what's different about what we do. This is why we're able to help people that no one else can really help. It's because we're finding what is the driving cause of their problem, not just treat their symptoms. Now with your thyroid, uh, we talk about this in our workshop, but there's six basic patterns that cause your thyroid to malfunction. And the question is, which pattern are you? Okay? Um, out of the six, many times we have multiple patterns with our patients or they have multiple things that are going wrong with them that's causing them to have problems. And so that's one of the things I'm certified in integrative medicine. We have to integrate all the systems of your body because this system over here affects this system over here and it affects this system over here. And it's kind of like gears in a, in a clock. They all work together. And it could be the very smallest gear that isn't working that's causing you problems. So the number one cause of thyroid mal malfunctions in the United States is Hashimoto's. It's an autoimmune condition that attacks your thyroid gland. So what is the chance of you having Hashimoto's? It's about 90%. Um, there's a, there is a blood test you can check for that and it's undebatable. You either got it or you don't have it. And we talk about in our workshop what tests we need to run to find out what's really going on, what you can do about it, and how does it all work together? I will educate you and help teach you why you're having problems even though you're not on the medication. So hopefully this is a little bit of a preview for you. 